Anglia News at 6 with Claire Weller and Karen Giannone. Drama at a seaside air show, horror as the pilot ejects and his RAF Harrier crashes. He parachutes to safety and no one's hurt. Tonight a major safety inquiry begins. Why did a multi-million pound warplane crash close to thousands of holidays? Anglia News at 6 with Claire Weller and Karen Giannone. Drama at a seaside air show. Horror as the pilot ejects and his RAF Harrier crashes. He parachutes to safety and no one's hurt. Tonight a major safety inquiry begins. Why did a multi-million pound warplane crash close to thousands of holidaymakers? And what questions does it pose about the safety of public air shows? Good evening from Anglia News. We start tonight with the dramatic events this afternoon at the Lowestoft Air Show. Thousands of spectators watched in horror as a BAE Harrier plunged into the sea during a low-flying manoeuvre this afternoon. The pilot managed to eject before the plane went down. Our reporter John Francis is in Lowestoft tonight and saw the drama unfold. John, tell us exactly what happened. Yes, hello. Well, every uh, air show organizer's worst nightmare was visited on Lowestoft today, but they came through it unscathed. A jet aircraft ditched into the sea just a few yards off this beach, a beach so crowded you could hardly see the sand, yet nobody on the beach and nobody in the aeroplane was hurt. Now, I've covered dozens of air shows. I was at Farnborough only the other day, and thank goodness I've never seen an air accident. When it did finally come, it looked eerie and unreal. Here's what happened. Four o'clock this afternoon, and crowds look on in horror as an RAF carrier from RAF Wittering in Cambridgeshire, believed to be piloted by Flight Lieutenant Tony Can, ditches without warning. The crowd saw an explosion, but that was the pilot's ejector seat. The plane went into the sea very close to the pier. The pilot dropped safely a few moments afterwards by parachute. He was picked up by the Lowestoft inshore lifeboat. Emergency vehicles rushed to the beach, but it was a Sea King helicopter which took the pilot to an RAF medical facility, though he was said not to be seriously hurt. Eyewitnesses described what they'd seen. On the harbour in display, he suddenly started to sink, and uh, then there was the bang with the ejector seat, and uh, he, he hit the sea. Some ladies behind me got a bit panicked and screamed momentarily and I went to one and said it's all right, the pilot's all right. I said it doesn't matter about a multi-million pound aircraft, but I said the pilot's all right, he's in the water. The incident was filmed by dozens of people on home videos. These pictures from a different angle show what happened as the pilot ejected to safety. A wave of horrified reaction passed through the crowds on the beach. Pictures like these are being examined by military experts tonight for clues as to what caused the crash. It came at the end of a perfect day in the final flying session at this sixth Lowestoft Air Festival. The festival itself has an excellent safety record. Today it's thought at least 180,000 people were on the beach, but nobody was hurt. Announcements had to be made to ask swimmers to get out of the water because of the risk of fuel oil leaking from the ditched aircraft. But following the air show tragedy in the Ukraine a few days ago, today's incident is sure to raise more questions about the safety of air displays for entertainment. In Lowestoft tonight, though, nothing but relief that the accident caused no casualties only the loss of a multi-million pound British warplane. The operation to retrieve the aircraft from the seabed is expected to begin this weekend. Well, we've been hearing now a little more uh, about the pilot, Flight Lieutenant uh, Tony Can. The announcers here were saying that uh, he didn't want to go to hospital, but he was told that he jolly well had to. So that was uh, an indication of how uninjured he in fact was. Although we heard at the beginning he was going to be taken to an RAF medical facility, it turns out that he went to the nearest hospital, which of course is the James Paget at Galston, where um, he's had a checkup. 
Now, Flight Lieutenant Can followed his father into the RAF. He got a flying scholarship in the sixth form. He's uh, a weapons instructor, and he teaches other people how to fly the Harrier, so he should know what he's doing. Unfortunately, his aeroplane, the Harrier, doesn't have a perfect safety record, and our defence correspondent, James Bush, has been having a look back at uh, its slightly chequered recent history. Hovering above the ground, the Harrier is classed as an attack aircraft. Rotating nozzles on the fuselage give it its vertical takeoff and landing capability using a technique known as thrust vectoring. Its jump jet roll means that the Harrier doesn't have to operate from established runways and can be flown from remote battlefield locations or even from aircraft carriers. NATO Secretary General George Robertson is shown the GR-7 variant of the aircraft during a visit to RAF Wittering in Cambridgeshire. The GR-7 entered service in 1990. Fitted with a forward-looking infrared radar system known as FLIR, it can operate in virtually all conditions. Harrier pilots are specially trained at RAF Wittering, and the aircraft is regarded as a very demanding one to fly. The Harrier fleet was grounded in the 1990s after a series of electrical problems, but military sources say it's no less safe than any other type of combat aircraft. An RAF board of inquiry is being set up to investigate the circumstances of today's crash. James Bush, Anglia News. Well, now we're joined here live on the seafront at last off by Mary McLean, who's chief executive of Waveney District Council, whose air show this is. So, Mary, um, first of all, you must have had contingency plans for an event like this. Did they work? We had contingency plans, and we're very proud that everything worked exactly as it should have done. So what had you got in place? What had you got standing by? Sure. We had a 172-page emergency plan. All emergency services work with the council to ensure we have a coordinated approach, and it worked very smoothly on this occasion. Now, I suppose it's inevitable, really, that some people are still are going to say again, especially after that horrible accident in the Ukraine, is it really just too dangerous to fly aeroplanes like this just for people's entertainment? Every air show that we have in this country conforms to the CAA requirements. The answer as to whether it's too dangerous, I think, lies mainly with the pilots. These pilots take the risk. My view is that this has been an enormously successful air show. Thank goodness the pilot is all right. It's marvellous that every arrangement that we made worked perfectly. And the fact that we have 180,000 people who've had a very good day out and who behaved absolutely marvellously when there was a crisis, I think says there is a risk, but we do these things for a good purpose. Do you think you were lucky? No, I don't think we were lucky. I think we were prepared. I think that both the pilot and our own officers and emergency services did what they were supposed to do, and that's why we had a good outcome. Mary McLean, thank you very much indeed. And with that, uh, back from a slightly shocked lowest off air show to you. Thanks had a dramatic escape after his Harrier jet crashed into the sea during an air show in East Anglia. Crowds watched in amazement as the pilot ejected from the plane just moments before it ditched into the water. Rob Smith's been looking at the extraordinary pictures. The pilot was showing off the Harrier's hovering ability over water in front of a crowd of thousands at a seafront air festival in Suffolk. As he slowed the jet, the roar of the engines changed note and the plane plummeted. Despite the low height, the pilot's parachute opened, bringing him down as gently as could be expected. Many of the airshow spectators filming the display thought they heard an explosion before the crash. It's impossible to make out on the many amateur videos taken of the display. It took lifeboats less than a minute to reach the pilot, and the police say he wasn't hurt. Rob Smith, ITV News. Aria Harrier jet has crashed off the East Anglian coast while taking part in an airshow. The pilot, Flight Lieutenant Tony Can, ejected from the aircraft just before it dropped into the sea, waving to the crowd as his parachute opened. He was then taken to hospital for routine checks. Hello, first tonight. Thousands of people watched in horror this afternoon as an RAF plane plunged into the sea off the Suffolk coast. The Harrier jet was coming to the end of the display at the Lowestoft Air Show when disaster struck. When the plane bowed to the crowd on the beach, its engine appeared to cut out. It plunged into the sea, leaving the pilot just seconds to eject. Let's go live to our reporter, Kevin Birch, in Lowestoft. Kevin. Stuart, you know, you can probably hear behind me the celebrations continuing. And the flying's been going on. There's very much a spirit here that the show must and has gone on. But this has been a very dramatic day. 
Now the Harrier went down behind the pier behind me, it remains submerged tonight. Just have a look at these pictures which were shot by one of the onlookers here. And as you say, this Harrier was coming to the end of uh, the uh, display. A uh, uh, manoeuvre it actually did quite happily yesterday, but today, as you can see, it just came in to do this final bow, this final little dip, and suddenly a loss of power, and down it went. And literally seconds before it hit the water, the pilot, Flight Lieutenant Tony Kant, ejected. Uh, and as you can see, he was waving away, picked up by lifeboat, and taken away to hospital. But as I say, very dramatic scenes, and really there were gasps in the crowd as they saw this happen. One of the onlookers was uh, Graham Holly. Graham, what were the actual feelings when this uh, Harrier went down? Oh, total disbelief. Gasps, saying, is this real? It really happened. Yeah, and, and, and I suppose in the seconds it happened, people just watched and couldn't believe what was unfolding. Well, no, they couldn't, not at all, no. I mean, uh, we'll get to speculate as to why it happened, but to say it was in the normal part of the hover display. It had just executed a backward hover and was then proceeding to a forward hover and suddenly the power just suddenly went, which um, would tend to suggest, well, I wouldn't speculate, but just a sudden loss of power for some reason, a uh, major Graham. loss. Graham, thank you very much indeed. As you say, a sudden loss of power and speculation at the moment as to what went wrong. Now, certainly some fresh pictures just coming in while we've been on air. These from Steve Jefferson. And yet again, as you can see, they capture the moment where this Harrier came down. And as we've already heard, shock and disbelief. And you can see here some of the youngsters uh, uh, youngsters watching this happen really had a bit of a shriek of disbelief. Now, the pilot, Flight Lieutenant Tony Can, is no stranger to Look East. A couple of months ago, we spoke to him at the South End Air Show, and he told us about what it's like to fly the Harrier. Once I've got started, uh, I'm pretty much into my routine, which I practice uh, quite a few times before the season and throughout the season as well. So really, once I get started and get airborne, I'm into my routine uh, and that's it. And I try to block out any other thoughts of, uh, of who's around and who's watching and just try and give the best show I can. Stuart, there's bound to be an update on this uh, story, so join us later in the programme. Kevin, thank you very much and thanks to our viewers for those terrific pictures. Joe. Mary McLean is the uh, Chief Executive of Waveney District Council. I, I hear that the fireworks have been cancelled tonight, is that right? Yes, that's correct. We felt that that would be a responsible decision, but we are going to enhance the firework displays that are happening next weekend and on the 25th of August. Uh, what are the dangers with the fireworks then? Are, is there fuel around there still? It's not a particular danger, but we didn't want to take any extra risk unnecessarily. Uh, do you feel that you've had a lucky escape? I mean, when we saw the plane go down, there were actually people in the sea. No, I don't feel we've had a lucky escape. I feel we've been very well prepared for this sort of event. Nobody wishes that this would happen, but every service, including the pilots, are well prepared. We were able to start our, our whole show again within 15 minutes, which meant that um, everything was as calm as it could possibly be. Do you think that you will have a show next year now that you've had this incident this year? Yes, we will have a show next year because this incident has proved that the prepare, uh, preparations that we have do work. We wouldn't have wanted this to happen, but actually it shows that we are well prepared. And as far as you know, everybody is well this evening. As far as I know, everybody is well, and this is an air show where people and pilots all want to come, and that's why we're going to go ahead. Good, well done. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Thank you very much indeed. Great relief that no one was hurt in that. Absolutely. That's all from us for tonight. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.